Hey, what's up you guys? You are watching the Kaggle Code Review Show and my name is Ilarian Garbazov. Here we review the code that I found on the Kaggle.com and see how it works. Let's do it! I found this data set on the Kaggle.com. Uh, it's called S&P 500 stock data. It's a historical stack data for all S&P 500 companies. So it's uh, all the prices of different uh, companies issued uh, on uh, S&P. And uh, let's look how uh, the data, for, uh, let's look for the data. Okay, here is uh, data. So we've got uh, different stocks with uh, its names, uh, volumes, a close price, high, low, uh, open, and the date. So uh, we understand that it's a time series, and we would uh, try to make different predictions. Okay, and we use uh, we would use a, a Facebook model called uh, called the Profit. So let's dive in. The kernel with the code we will take from uh, the Gianni Martinez. It's a cross analyst at Emma, Frankfurt, Germany. Thank you, uh, Gianni, for the kernel. Thank you. As I said, we've got a time series uh, and uh, we'll do the time series pro uh, forecast with profit. So this is a simple kernel in which we'll forecast stock prices using Profit. It's a Facebook library for time series forecasting. However, historical uh, prices are not uh, indication whether a price will go up or down. Okay, I'd rather use my uh, own variables and use machine learning for stock price prediction rather than just using historical prices as an indication of uh, increasing or decreasing. A little summary about the profit. It's a uh, Facebook's uh, research team has uh, come uh, with an easy implementation of forecasting through its new library called Profit. Uh, from what I uh, have read, the blog states that analysts that can produce high quality forecasting data is rarely seen. So the profit would uh, solve this problem. It's uh, a easy to use model from the Facebook. And there are several ca characteristics of profit uh, that I want to share with uh, you Kaggles that shows where profit works best. So we can uh, see the hourly, daily or weekly observations with at least a few months. Uh, strong multiple human scale uh, seasonalities, day of week and time of, uh, time of year. Impact holidays that occur at regular intervals that are known in advance a reasonable number of missing observations, historical trend changes for instance due uh, to product launches and trends that are not linear growth curves where trend hits a natural limit of uh, saturates. So first of all we need to load uh, the data uh, the, uh, and you can find the archive, the zip archive on the uh, kegel.com I'll put the link to the description. Then we need to unzip it and import libraries. NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Seaburn, DateTime, the Profit, Stats Models, SkyPy, Plotly for plotting. So that is the libraries. And let's uh, dive into the data, how it looks like. So when you uh, the data uh, is in content path and as usual uh, we're using the Google Colab and we need to check that we uh, got, uh, that we choose the uh, GPU accelerator and uh, our data in the uh, content path it's unzipped and uh, when uh, we can use pandas and read CSV so we've got different columns, date, open, high, low, close, volume, and the name of the stack, okay? Here is a brief description of uh, the data set. Count, mean, 
uh, standard, minimum, maximum. So it's just uh, the prices of the stocks on different dates. And uh, we want to uh, replace the column name from the name to the ticks, to the ticker. And uh, after that, uh, the, our data frame would look like this. For this simple uh, tutorial, uh, we will analyze Amazon's stock and see what uh, will the trend look like for the nearby future of the stock relying on past stock prices. So we uh, can uh, lock uh, the Amazon with the ticker Amazon and uh, the uh, head would look like the head of the data frame with on the Amazon uh, ticker prices would look like this. Okay. So we need to make sure if the day column is either a categorical type or a date type. So uh, we can check the info of the data frame and we see that it's an object and we need to change it to a date format. So we would create a copy um, and change uh, the date time, uh, date type. So we would do it with the to date time uh, where we lock the date and uh, we can use this format. After that we can uh, check the, the info on the data frame and see that we, it changed to date time 64. So uh, let's uh, plot uh, the stock prices and uh, we'll uh, plot the close price, uh, the high price, the low price and the volume at the different graph so here is the amazon uh, low price uh, history and amazon volume history uh, and uh, i want to warn you that the first day is uh, here it's 2013 and the last day is uh, 2018 in our uh, data frame so let's do uh, the modeling. Let's uh, introduce the profit. The profit is a Facebook library for the time series forecasting. It works best with data sets that are highly influenced by uh, seasonality. Uh, however, we would show the simplicity of using profit for simple forecasting, which is the main aim of this kernel. Okay, uh, here is the steps for using profit. Make sure you uh, uh, replace closing price for Y and day for uh, uh, DS. Feed the data frame to profit in order to detect future patterns and predict the up and low prices of the closing price. Okay, so profit is uh, the M. Uh, we uh, will drop the columns and uh, choose uh, only uh, the close price. So uh, here it would look like date and the price on this date. So uh, now we can uh, feed uh, our profit uh, with the data and uh, make the predictions after that. Uh, as a trend, we uh, can make future date frame and uh, predict easily predict it and it would give us the uh, y hat, y hat lower and y hat upper. So it you uh, would uh, use all the trends and we uh, right now would see it. So first of all, let's plot our predictions. Uh, so we've got Amazon stock price forecast. And uh, you see that uh, here is the end date of our time series and here is the predictions. We see the upward trend, and here is the uh, forecast in, in uh, initializ uh, initialization, and you see the y hat and the y hat lower and y hat upper. Let's uh, plot the components of the forecast. So you see the uh, upward trend or the on the yearly basis you don't see the weekly trends but you see the uh, little 
uh, trends on a monthly basis. It's in December and January. So uh, we can change um, uh, the predictions to monthly uh, based. So we would uh, fit it uh, with uh, we change prior scale and the periods would be uh, monthly so that would uh, we would uh, use for the uh, fitting and uh, we would predict the uh, future uh, with our new monthly model and uh, the monthly pr uh, prediction in one year time frame so we've got the upward trend and you see the Uh, predictions. So uh, the trends are that the Amazon stock price is showing signs of upper trend early. Amazon stock price show upper trend signs during January, and there is no weekly trend for stock prices. You can see it when we plot the components. So we've got the trend, no trend on the weekly basis, and a little trend in January and December. Uh, here uh, is the part of the kernel uh, with the moving averages. So it's uh, simply um, plotting moving average uh, averages on different uh, timelines for uh, five days uh, moving averages, uh, 20 days moving averages, 200 days. You see it in the code. I'll um, keep the link. So you see a uh, relationship between moving averages of different periods, 10 days, 50 days, 200 days, and the clothing price. And let's do uh, the same for uh, more susceptible to seasonality trend stocks. In this section, uh, we would show some type of stocks that are more uh, seasonality, vulnerable to um, seasonality, such as airlines, hotel chains, and uh, cruises. So, just the same, we need to lock uh, the ticker. Uh, we'll do it for the American Airlines, and the ticker would be AAL. Uh, then we need, uh, then we can you can see we can plot it so you see the uh, seasonality uh, we uh, would normalize it with uh, numpy uh, log we would normalize the data so uh, we can plot the standard deviation and the moving averages on closing price here it is the five day moving average uh, we would do it with the rolling, uh, with the rolling mean five, uh, five rolling mean, and the twenty, uh, they uh, are moving uh, average with a rolling uh, mean of twenty. Uh, just the same when we use the profit, uh, we uh, drop everything beside the close data and rename. Uh, our uh, data frame, uh, the columns of our data frame. So here it, uh, it would look like. Then we feed our model the profit. We would uh, feed the profit and uh, make future data frame on the 365 periods and make a prediction. And we would uh, get the white hat, white hat low and white hat lower, uh, upper for this day. And we can uh, plot it, so we'll see the trends. And uh, we can plot the components of the trends. So here is the forecast. So uh, you'll see the early uh, trend, no weekly trend, and the seasonality in months. Uh, and in this part of the kernel, you can uh, do it um, uh, year by year and see the different trends also. So that's how the profit from Facebook works. 
it's very useful for forecasting and I hope you'll uh, get it by uh, your hands soon. Thank you so much. Guys, if you like the video, press the like button, subscribe and put your comments here. Thank you. Bye.